My name is Dr. Chris Dalton. I'm a professor in uh, aerospace and mechanical engineering. Uh, I chose mechanical engineering when I was a student because I enjoyed learning how things work and mechanical engineering is generally considered to be the most flexible of the engineering degrees where you can uh, learn about a variety of different fields, whether it is traditional machine design, manufacturing, uh, thermal or fluid applications, biomedical applications, oil and gas applications, electronics. Uh, mechanical engineering has a little bit of everything, and so it's a very well-rounded degree. Uh, it's the reason that I chose it and uh, continue to uh, pass that information along as a professor. Joining me today is one of my counterparts on the aerospace side of AME, Dr. Hayes. Hi, my name is Dr. Hayes. I'm a professor of practice here in, at the University of Oklahoma Aerospace Mechanical Engineering. And I chose aerospace engineering just because I simply love the science around aerospace. I love being able to design and understand everything about the physical world that surrounds us. And with the concrete understanding of engineering, helping other people understand that uh, way to represent our physical world through mathematics, it, it really expands the capabilities and lets you accomplish a lot more in life. It's just so satisfying. The School of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering has about 1,000 students, of which just under 300 are aerospace engineers. This creates a very close-knit classroom environment that serves the students well both academically and later in industry because they lead out into the workforce already having a number of very close contacts that they can call upon and reference. This also lends itself well to creating a, a very tight relationship between professors and students that as we go through experiential projects together, uh, lets us develop wonderful relationships and work very, very closely in these hands-on applications that serve to solidify the technical material you learn in class by actually seeing it work or fail in practice in kind of a safe academic environment still. The School of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering is uh, one of the original schools within the College of Engineering here at OU. It's been around for a long time. Uh, currently, we have about 1,000 undergraduates. Uh, that's about 700 in mechanical engineering and 300 in the aerospace programs. Uh, one of the things that I feel like makes our school unique is our a focus and attention on experiential learning opportunities uh, from the very beginning of their curriculum all the way through the end, whether it is uh, small in-class projects that they do as part of some of their lecture courses to the laboratory experiences that the students have, whether it's in the internal combustion engines laboratory learning how engines work or in the wind tunnel laboratory learning how uh, the different uh, forces that exist in uh, aircraft uh, balance between one another, uh, all the way up until their capstone projects where the students are working on uh, hands-on projects that are from industry sponsors, from companies both local and regional, as well as experience with uh, design processes throughout their curriculum. They have lots of opportunities to apply their knowledge uh, throughout the curriculum so that they learn it, they try it, they practice it, they master it. In the School of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering, we have five different uh, undergraduate programs. We have the uh, standard aerospace and mechanical degrees. We have an accelerated master's program for both aerospace and mechanical where you earn both your bachelor's and master's within five years. Uh, mechanical engineering also has a pre-med option for students interested in that path. And then both programs, aerospace and mechanical, have a traditional master's and PhD program. After aerospace engineers graduate, after their senior year, they're heavily recruited into both regional and national companies. We've had students go to companies like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, uh, Spirit Aerospace, a number of space craft design companies, aeronautic design companies, structural design, both in Oklahoma locally and nationally. We've had graduates outcompete students from uh, much more expensive universities for the most prestigious positions in the country. It's all about how much effort uh, you put into your, your time here, and you'll find that effort matched by our faculty. You get out of college what you're willing to put into it, and we're here to support you along that path. Graduates uh, with a mechanical engineering degree can pretty much go into any uh, technical area that they're interested in. Again, with the flexibility of the mechanical degree, you can walk into a variety of different technical fields. 
Uh, the graduates here at OU, the most common fields that they're walking into with a mechanical degree are uh, companies in the oil and gas industry. Uh, we have a lot of mechanical graduates that go on to work with uh, their counterparts uh, in aerospace firms. Uh, some examples of national companies that are recruiting heavily here are Schlumberger, Halliburton, uh, ConocoPhillips, Boeing, uh, Lockheed Martin. Uh, but we see students go into a variety of different fields within mechanical engineering. Uh, they'll go into small manufacturing startups. They will go into large corporations. They will work for the government, whether uh, it's at a military base like Tinker Air Force Base, which is the local uh, base here in Oklahoma, or uh, they'll travel all over the United States or around the world uh, as part of their job. So there are lots and lots of opportunities for mechanical engineers and our graduates are uh, competitive uh, compared to many other schools. One concern many students have when, when thinking about aerospace engineering is that they wonder if it's gonna silo them too much. Can they only design airplanes? Or can they only design rockets? And I don't think that's the case at all. You still go through the first two years, two or three years of similar classes with mechanical engineering. And then you go into more in-depth structural design, more in-depth fluids. Uh, analysis and that really broadens the number of jobs that you have available to you once you hit industry. You can work on road machinery. We've had graduates work at video game companies programming the flight of footballs and kickoffs. We even have some some students go work for backpacking companies and you know outdoor type companies because they want to hire engineers who are used to designing lightweight carbon fiber aluminum type structures and using very lightweight materials. So aerospace really broadens the realm of job opportunities instead of shrinking. So I just want to clear that up from the beginning that it's not going to silo you. It's going to expand your horizons. There are a whole host of different student organizations and teams that mechanical engineers can get involved in while they're uh, pursuing their degree. Uh, the two big competition teams are the Sooner Off-Road team and the Sooner Racing team, where both teams design, build, and test a, a car of a certain from the ground up so the students start by designing the vehicles on paper and then use uh, computer aided design software to design it on the computer and analyze it the students then have the opportunity to do build work where they actually manufacture different components and parts for their vehicles then they have the opportunity to eventually test the vehicles and uh, drive them at national competitions uh, the students are also involved in uh, the a student chapter of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME, which does a variety of activities. They'll do uh, community service projects where they work with different groups uh, locally. They will do professional development activities where they'll learn a new technical skill or they'll invite in a speaker from industry to talk, or they'll just do plain social events where the goal is to uh, have a chance to relax and uh, enjoy one another's company. Uh, there's also the Honor Society, Pi Tau Sigma, uh, for mechanical engineers. Uh, once they are upperclassmen, they have the opportunity to join if uh, their GPA is high enough. And then there are the other organizations throughout the College of Engineering to get involved in. There's something like 60 student organizations within the College of Engineering in total. So there's lots of opportunities out there for students to get involved outside the classroom and engage in some of those passions that they have whether it's building a car, whether it's uh, doing good for the community, or just learning more about their profession. We have a student section of the American Institute of Astronautics and Aeronautics. We have a student section of the Sigma Gamma Tau Aerospace Honor Society. And uh, our competition teams are the Design Build Fly competition and the Boomer Rocket Teams competition at the Argonia Cup each year. The Design Build Fly competition is actually sponsored by AAA. And we use a year-long process where students go through conceptual prelim and detailed design in the fall. And then in the spring, they actually build one or two or three copies of their aircraft and execute their own flight test program before they go to compete against other schools literally from around the world. OU has been very successful on this path, finishing in the top 10 twice in the first five years I've been here, finishing in the top 20 the other times. And this past year, unfortunately, canceled by pandemic after the team was doing so wonderfully. Uh, the Boomer Rocket team has finished with a podium finish, their first time competing at the Argonia Cup. They were tasked with carrying a golf ball up to t past 10,000 feet and guiding it back down to a specific spot on the ground, basically playing supersonic rocket golf, which is a pretty good design challenge for the team to try to accomplish. 
and they finished in the regional competition on the podium. So it felt really, really great their first time going to competition to have such success. The students really rallied around one another. So it teaches you not just how to win a competition, but it teaches you about working with other engineers. It teaches you about things that will go wrong even though you've laid plans wonderfully. It teaches you that things that work on paper don't always, seldom ever work exactly as you expect in reality. So the lessons learned through these experiences, these extracurricular competition teams, these extracurricular student organizations are critical to your growth I think as an early engineer, it will really help differentiate you from other applicants to jobs and just help train you for a better career in engineering as you carry through your uh, life. The only prerequisite for the competition teams within the College of Engineering is that you're excited about the project and you're willing to work because uh, the misconception is that you have to know a lot about that particular project uh, to be a valuable team member. The reality is our upperclassmen team members, our captains are responsible for teaching our new team members uh, all of the things that they need to know to be involved with the team, whether it's as simple as how to use a particular tool or to uh, how to create parts in a computer-aided design software or to the more complicated things like being able to analyze parts in a finite element analysis tool or build a complex part using a CNC machine. It is the job of our upperclassmen, our senior team members, to teach those new members all the things they need to know so that eventually they're the ones leading the team and teaching the next generation of students. In aerospace engineering, there are several undergraduate research opportunities that uh, you can participate in. There's actually an entire honors engineering research experience undergraduate program for students to get engaged with researchers while they're still not even yet graduate students. This is a, a big differentiation if you're trying to take an academic path through your studies, if you eventually want to become a, a professor or a doctor or obtain your master's degree, getting some early research experience really puts you in the right mindset to have success there. Uh, here at OU in the past few years, we've had undergraduate research opportunities in high power rocketry, shooting 100 pound rockets up to Mach 1.15 uh, out in the field on weekends for research customers. We've had research opportunities in unmanned aerial systems. We have existing research opportunities for weather and atmospheric sensing using unmanned systems, drone control system research, uh, as well as combustion and several other fields within aerospace engineering. So that there are opportunities abound if you have the drive and organization to participate in those successfully. There are lots of opportunities for undergraduate research within mechanical engineering. Most of my colleagues love having undergraduate students in uh, their research labs as uh, undergraduate students because it gives them an opportunity to sort of recruit them to potentially stay uh, and stick around for graduate school. But for the undergraduate students, it's a great opportunity to get additional hands-on experience, uh, whether it is uh, doing a computational analysis or uh, creating an experimental setup uh, to evaluate a particular uh, system. There are lots of really outstanding opportunities uh, and skill sets that you pick up as a student researcher. Uh, students in mechanical engineering have opportunities to engage in research in uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, biomedical research, combustion opportunities, material properties, and other uh, new materials. There are loads of research opportunities for our undergraduate students. The only uh, prerequisite is that you're enthusiastic and willing to work. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope that we've answered many of your questions you might have about the School of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering. Please do check out our website or send us any remaining questions or inquiries you might have. 